Have you been putting your tags in your description and in your titles? Have you been making all these things related? So today I decided to make a video explain to you guys like what such engine optimization means. So hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So every day I hear people talking about SEO, SEO, search engine optimization. I try to give you the details to understand what search engine optimization means. Like That's what I want to take you through guys so you can also learn it and you get to improve your channel and make your channel work better or make your videos work better for you. Because everyone just says understand search, this or this, but actually I don't hear anyone explaining it just the, like the way I want to explain it. So I hope anyone else who's struggling to grow their channel who is a new YouTuber doesn't even know what SEO is or search engine optimization means. This is the right video for you. So stick here till the end because you're going to go away with a lot. I know in this video, you're going to hear something that you've not heard from someone before. This is my channel. We have 1K.50 subscribers. I can't thank you guys enough. Without you, my channel wouldn't be this. I'm really so grateful to you guys. So let's go right into the video. So the first the first thing I'm going to tell you guys is that make sure that you find the right title. Make sure that you find the right title for your video. The right title is very important. Like the right keywords. When I'm in the title, I'm in the right keywords. I might be here wanting to make a video on how to record a video with a phone or record a best the best video with a phone. But then when I search how to record the best video with a phone, I try I see in search that that title is very competitive. Of course, you can just come here in the search bar of your YouTube and type in that search, the word you want to search. And when you search it, of course, you'll see how many people or how many, like, how is this thing ranking? Let's say, like, how often is a video produced about this title? Something like that. You try to check. And the other thing you want to check about, the other thing you want to check before you pick a title, actually, is you want to check how are these people ranking? Because they put the best, like, the best video or the best ranked video on top of every search. So you want to look at the best ranking video and see how many views this video gathered and how long it was published. So let's see how many views this one has. This one is also an, a big channel. Uh, Sony is also a big channel. So Think Media is a really big channel. So you want to check and see uh, how many, sorry, how many views it got for that title. And if you compare with the people it has, like the audience it has and the views, you can go in the, in the, in this channel and compare. But this is a big channel. So it's hard for you to compare if a video is going to work for you comparing yourself to a very big channel or like all these channels that are very successful. It's hard for you to compare yourself on them. So you got to search and see how, how is the traffic for this video? It looks like it has some traffic some so let's say we have already now changed how to record perfect youtube videos on your mobile phone slash for beginners so you try to check like which tags they use that are differentiating your type like the different differentiating the title from the other one from all the other titles all that make your title stand out from all the other titles so that's what I was trying to change when I changed a little bit of my title. And you see the, re the ranking videos reduce from top until when this one comes, like the end of that related search. So that's because I just added on from your phone, on your phone and for beginners. And if you have like two buddy, you see, it could make it very easy for you because it could show you, of course, how that will work for your channel. And if you want to know how to like get your words, if you don't have like two buddy to get for to get the best titles, you can use VDQ. You can use uh, Keyword Explorer. You can use the Google search. You can use the YouTube search like I showed you there. So you can use a lot of different features or a lot of different tools to find the right titles for your videos. But before you find a title, of course, make sure that you compare that title in the search with other videos that are having the same title or did the same video about the same topic that you want to do right now. So that will give you the, like a, a view or a, an image of how it looks like or how this is going to perform for your video or for your channel another thing i'm going to talk about is going to be the uh, description of course i'll go back at the end when i'm concluding so keep watching stay here and watch to the end because i'm going to show you the details uh, on how these things rank at the end of the video so the description a description is a very important a very important part of the video though most people i saw so many i see so many videos that don't have any word in the description don't have any word completely no word in the description that's really 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 bad so I'm gonna show you why that is really bad right now and if we go here so let's go in my channel and uh, let's go to videos so 
let's take okay let's take that right now i clicked on my video but my video took me directly in tubebuddy because i have a tubebuddy account so this takes us inside my video and it's giving you a like a view on how my this video is performing so we're gonna go here this is where i wanted to show you like the seo what i mean about the seo so that your description i'm gonna go i'm gonna first go down here and show you what i mean like if you go to edit video i'm gonna go into this video and show you so my description is not so long but i tried to make sure that i put like the title of my video is of course in my description as you can see it's on the very first line the very first two line are talking about how to make a trend to piece set from a sweater hoodie or stroke hoodie so transformation to to two piece set it's also like tag in my title there are words that are in my title then i continue here to talk about something else and then i say let's do a diy two piece sweater together as we show sorry as we learn hope you all enjoy the transformation so you see that there's so many times that i mentioned the words that are in my title that is very important so the description in one way or the other is a very very important place where you need to talk about your video and show the people what your video is gonna be about tell them what they're going like what they expect in your video but make sure that you use the tag like the tag words in your description the title words the words that you've been using in talking about your video or talking or narrating in your video use them in this description like use them in the description use them in the title so your video is related like everything is related in one on one thing so it's not like scattered all over the place so these words are going to help you in one way or the other because they are in your title and you're repeating them in your description so then you go on and write whatever you want to write in your description the description has up to 5,000 characters of course i have 750 which is not the best because i'm not even on a thousand but at least i have a, a description here and then i have my social media and all that stuff so after that we're going to talk about the number three which is the tags so how many characters have you been making for your tags guys so let me know in the comments section below the tags the tags oh my god the tags we have the tags we have 500 characters for the tags utilize those characters utilize those characters use them as much as you can tag as much as you can but just make sure that as you tag all the tags you're making that they are related to the video that you're making right now so it makes no sense that you tag just everything that you feel like it's coming and you type it that something that belongs to another video in your channel or something that belongs to a different video and then you bring it all in because it's all like your channel no make sure that it's on this specific video that you're making right now that you're tagging of course we can have default tags like our channel tags that we don't change like your channel name like this there are some like what your channel is about like there are some things that are related to all your videos something like that that can be in all videos that can happen every time but these other tags make sure that you tag things that are really are relevant to your current video the video that you're working on right now i'm going to show you why i'm saying this because and the other thing i want to tell you is the word you use the words you used in your titles in your description get some of those tags those keywords that you put there and put them in your tag section too make sure that you have those words also in your tag section like you have transformation in your tag section put the thrifty transformation in your tag section too you have a crop top word in your tag in your description put a crop top word in your tag section too you have like you have the words you have there the words you have there how to put the how to in your description Put them in your tag section. Make sure that everything like is related somehow, somehow related. So I'm going to show you this. Like, like, have you been making related tags to your videos in the comment section below how you have been making your tags? So when we go back to this video, so let's open this in Chupadi and we see what I am explaining because that's the best way I can show you what I mean about the tags. So just like you can see here, we can go down here and see the tags. So these are the tags I'm talking about. These are the tags I'm using in this video right now. These are the tags. Of course, I changed some of these tags in using the YouTube, sorry, the two body tags generator. I used it to change these tags because I saw my video wasn't ranking by tags when I first got to buddy. So I had to change the tags in two buddy. And now when we search these tags, you see in my description, there was sweater to piece set. 
there was DIY sweater crop top, there was uh, thrips transformations, there was hoodie into two piece, there was DIY hoodie, there was like almost DIY oversized hoodie. So like all the words that are related to the title, description and everything I was talking about, other words that are here in the so when I go down here, it shows show search ranking. So I'm going to click on it and we see if my video is ranked by tags. So we, this is what I'm talking about. Like, well, let's see how many tags that are ranking for my, wow. So my video is ranked by nine tags. That's really good. Here it says that if you do a search for each of these videos, video ta videos tags this number shows how many times this video shows up on the first page of the search results for the tags so that means that my video has shown up nine times shows up nine times on the search first page of the search sorry first page of the search page using these tags so for these tags if someone comes in and check like the sweater two-piece set, my video would show up on the first page. If they search for DIY into two-piece set, my video would search up on the first page. I was on number 10 on oversized hoodie DIY. I was on number 2 for hoodie transformation. I was on number 9 for thrift flip hoodie. So you see the reason why you really, really need the tags. They keep pushing up your video they keep pushing your video so that's what i'm talking about that people explain to just to make a video and say we should improve our seo but no one explains like seo in detail so i hope that this video helps you that you take away something that you have understood for your video or for your channel that could help your videos like uh rank more don't go away because what i'm gonna explain last is very very important so what i'm gonna take you through i'm gonna take you through one last bonus thing which is here when you search here on seo score i have a hundred out of a hundred so this is really good for this video i have a hundred out of a hundred and that's what i told you that you just have to understand how the search engine optimization works you just have to understand how it works and when you start implementing that your channel is going to start your channel is going to start growing your videos are going to be pushed out more and you're going to get more views because more people are going to be like they're going to be said suggested on other people's pages like and then i'm going to be showing you this so you see here tuber seo score uh, for this video or this video you see at the in the in the first place there is tags in title and description tags in title and description tags in title and description we talked about our tags like how we wrote our tags i've been repeating this several that guys put the tags in that your tags make sure that some of them appear in the title make sure that some of them appear in the description so like here it shows you how the seo is ranking it shows you the tags and and in the title and description i told you in my title there is transformation there is hoodie, there is thrifty flip, there is oversized, and all those words are in my tags. All those words are in my tags. Sorry, my tags are also in my title. These all words, all these words and more are also in my description. So that's why here they put tags in title, tags in title and description. And they said I have 20 out of 20 because all my words are in title, all my words are in description, and they are all the same words. And then that same words, I used most of them in my tags so there i scored a 20 out of 20 and then i came down to tags in the title itself only title in the title i also scored 20 out of 20 because i have my tags down in the tag section and all my words in the title trust me are in this tag section they're in this tag section because i want my video to be ranking better and there I got 20 out of 20. So tags in the description itself alone, apart from the bracket where they are all together, like valued together. So now valuing one by one. Also in the description, SEO says I scored 20 out of 20. So let's say you didn't put tags in the description. That would mean that there you have zero out of 20. Or if you put less, five out of 20 or 10 out of 20, seven out of 20 depending on how it's going to rank you. So just make sure that you use the tags, use as much as you can. I won't say that use two, three times, because you saw I used more than six times the words that in my description are in my title, are in my are in my tag section. So I don't know how many times you're gonna be using them, but use them as often as you can. The next thing I'm gonna talk about is the total tag characters. 
total tag characters guys when i talked about the tags i told you that you have 500 characters you have 500 characters try to utilize these characters actually when i made tags for this video i made i made 700 tags it was above 700 tags and it was red because that was above the maximum so it was red and then when i i, I started letting like the tags that were far away not too close to my tag to my like to my title and to my description and all that i tried to delete 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 all the tags that i felt like okay this wasn't so relevant this was wasn't so related this was so wasn't so like relevant or so close to my description so close to my title and all that stuff so until i went down to i think 400 499 normally when i make my tags i make sure that i hit 500 or i make 499 or 489 when I remain like with three characters of tags, at least I type DIY, a word of three words, so I can complete the tag section. So now I'm ranking here total tag characters. I did, of course, 400. I still remember 499 tags for this video. And it has 20 out of 20 for SEO for the tags and the total tag character. Have you been utilizing all the tags? Have you been making all the 500 tags? And then when we go on, we have the total words in description. Total words in this. How many words do you have in your description? That's what I talked about when I was explaining the description. I said some people just put one sentence in the description and they call it quits. Like they move away to the next thing. But that's not working for your video. That's not helping your channel. That's not helping your videos. You need to utilize this place. I have, of course, watched so many videos of people telling us to write the description and all that. But none of them has explained depth of why you need this description. You need that description. Use that description. But make sure that you the description relevantly put your titles in the description put your tags in the description put those words in your description and make sure that your description is big my description for this video wasn't like as uh, the topic that was about the the video itself wasn't so big it was this short but i had below like other things i had my social media things i had my own like what i missed i didn't have links and all that stuff which i'm going to go on and do like if it's check here, there is this button that says edit video. So I'll go in and put in like links. So if you know better about SEO than me and you know something I've not talked about in the SEO, of course about SEO, you can let me know in the comment section below. Please leave it in the comment section below. It might be as much more helpful, helpful to other people and it might be much more appreciated to other people in the comment section because we are all learning together and we are all learning, we are all learning from each other. So, uh, so the other thing I'm going to tell you about the tags is like, uh, when you, if you want to get tags, of course tags are not easy to find. Like if you sit on the book or the paper and you want to write your own tags, you find that you run out of words from your head without finding the 500 tags. Trust me, you won't find the 500 tags. So previously I was using rapid tags generator, ta rapid tags generator. It's a paid for app. I was paying for it monthly and I was getting my tags from there because I realized it was really getting so difficult for me to raise the tags. I could only raise like 20 and that's how far I could go. And But right now, recently, since I have TubeBuddy, I actually am going to be canceling the subscription on Rapid Tags Generator because I realized TubeBuddy tags is even much more better. I won't be paying like double times because this also makes tags and it's easy and it, I, th I feel like the tags are even more like, I don't know, because they are already ranking my videos that I put them in. So that's all I wanted to explain. So as any creator, I think, I really think that TubeBuddy is a really great feature. It's a really great feature. I'm not talking about this because I am an affiliate or something. I'm, I'm, I have a member pack or something like that. I am using TubeBuddy recently. I just bought it, but I'm t I can tell you that this is the best, best investment that I have made since I have started investing in YouTube things. But this is so far the best investment that I have used because it has 
actually also helped me understand the search engine optimization i didn't understand it before in the search studio itself in the youtube studio itself i tried as much as i could to understand it but i got to understand it when i started seeing how to body makes it easy for you to understand makes it well explained like everything is defined very well defined for you to understand like there is nothing so complicated to understand actually if you also want to get a tube like tube buddy i'm gonna be leaving my link in in the description section you can click on it and install to buddy on your laptop or on your phone from my link but of course you can also go on the website of tubebuddy and you download it directly there i don't have to use my link but i just let you know that you can also support me kindly support me and download it using my link and i get a very small percentage which actually does not add on your license of buying your license it doesn't add any cost on your license if you're interested in such videos make sure that you hit the subscription button so you can become part of the family and turn on the notification bell so you get notified every time i upload a new video you don't want to miss the next video because i'm going to be explaining the best practices that you can do for your video to rank better because I, I as i watch it here also my video ranked better for that section so i hope that this video helps someone and if this video of course helps you or you have gotten something out of this video please don't forget to like this video don't forget to give this some thumbs up and if you feel like there were other youtubers that would like to get this information this information has to reach please share this video so this those people can also get this information and learn how to boost their own channels i love you all guys and once again thank you all guys for the love thank you for supporting me and if you check my channel i have a lot of videos up for you guys about thumbnails about how to verify your channel so let's see us in my next video a peace a sign out